Hey Faith World, thank you so much for tuning in to The Voice of Faith. As you hear this message, we want to build up your faith and build up your hope in the Word of God. Check out this message from Marquise. Good evening everyone, this is Marquise Kidd and I'm here on The Voice of Faith. Listen, I hope you tune in on our weekly broadcast. I mean, if there ever was a time that we needed to lend our ears to the voice of faith, it's right now. Just so much that's going on in our world and it's so easy to slip over into worry and fear and anxiety. But I'm telling you, those who are bold, those who keep trudging forward are those who have a firm uh, grip on the word of God. And I won't be before you long. The Lord just laid this passage of scripture on my heart just to share with you. I'm coming from a very familiar passage of scripture, um, Psalm 121. I tell you, this passage has really been keeping me stable and rooted and grounded just on the promises of God's protection, um, his keeping power. We say that a lot. You know, oh, the Lord is keeping me or, oh, I'm being kept by God. But what does it really mean to be kept by God? When I think of the word keeper, um, as funny as this may sound, it may, it reminds me of like a zookeeper or someone who keeps the ground of any particular establishment. You know, more of a custodian type. Their job is to make sure the grounds are upkept, to make sure there aren't any uh, pieces of trash all over where, everywhere, to make sure uh, the landscape is uh, presentable, to make sure that things are in order. And much um, like a keeper, God is the keeper of our lives. He's the keeper of our souls. Uh, it is his responsibility to make sure we are intact. Um, we are kept. There's a scripture that says we are kept by the power power of God. And so I just wanted to read this passage, Psalm 121, in lieu of everything that we've been hearing about, even in our news um, just recently about the, the killings um, in Buffalo, New York, and then the more recent one um, in Uvalde, Texas. I mean, just so heart-wrenching. And as I said before, if we allow those things to really blur our vision of God's promises, it's so easy just to get over into doubt, fear, and unbelief. But be reminded by this passage, Psalm 21, I will lift up mine eyes to the hills from which cometh my help. My help cometh from the Lord, the Lord who made heaven and earth. He will not suffer thy foot to be moved. He that keepeth thee will not slumber. Verse three is very important to me. He will not suffer thy foot to be moved. What a promise of a stability and what a promise of, a, should I say, a, an anchoring promise that even though life Life may seem like a billowing roll or a roller coaster. God promises us in his word that he will not allow our foot to be moved. Things could be changing around us, all around us, swift transition, some that seem almost to take us by surprise. But God promises us that he's not going to allow our foot to be moved. Another translation says he's not going to allow us to fall or stumble. It says he that keepeth Israel never sleeps, neither does he slumber. Sometimes some people can ask the question, Lord, did you take a vacation? Are you still on the throne? Yes, he is. He has not taken a vacation. God is still God. Verse five says, the Lord is thy keeper. He is the shade upon our right hand. His responsibility and his charge is to shield us from the elements of this world. It says, the sun shall not smite thee by day, nor the moon by night. The Lord shall preserve thee from all evil. He will preserve us from all evil. There's a lot of evil um, in this world today, but we have the promise that he is going to preserve us from all evil. It says he shall preserve thy soul. I think that is very interesting that the psalmist David put that there. He shall preserve thy soul. When you think of our soul, we think our mind, our will, and our emotions. And I don't know about you, but I have not heard the words anxiety, depression, mental illness as much as I've heard it in these past two years. There has been an onslaught of the mental state, the mind of people generally, and even people in the house of God. But I want to encourage you today that God is a preserver of your soul. And even if you have experienced some type of disturbance in your soulish realm, 
your mind, your will, and your emotions. Not only is he a preserver, but he is a restorer. Psalm 23 tells us that he leads us by the still waters and he restores our soul. Listen, God will bring you to a place to restore and help you just to get your bearings back in your mind, your will, and your emotion. It reminds me of David when the town of Ziklag was destroyed by the Amalekites. The Bible says that the people, the men, they wept bitterly. But the first thing David did was he encouraged himself. He strengthened his spirit first, and then he received instruction from the Lord. Listen, it's hard to receive revelation or insight or understanding from God when your soul is in turmoil. But here he says he will preserve your soul. He will restore your mind, your will, and your um, emotions. Verse eight says, the Lord shall preserve thy going out and thy coming in, going out and coming in. In other words, you're not going to get stuck. There's things we've got to do. There's places that we've got to go. There's lives that we have to touch. And God promises us, you don't have to fear going in and coming out. You can go in and come out with boldness, knowing that he's going to keep you for how long? It says from this time forth, even forevermore. Listen, Psalm 121 tells us that he who keeps Israel neither sleeps nor slumbers. Our God watches over us at all time. He all times he doesn't grow tired. He doesn't grow weary as sometimes we do. And guess what? He's not busy doing something else. He's on the throne being just who he is. He is God and he will not change. Listen, I hope that gave you a bit of encouragement and just strengthened your faith even in the times that we're living in. This is is the voice of faith. We have a God who is on the throne and he is our keeper. He is our protector. He is our preserver. Listen, be blessed here on The Voice of Faith. Thank you so much for tuning in to this episode of The Voice of Faith. We believe that God is going to do some amazing things in your life. And before you go, we always want to give you an opportunity to give so that you can be blessed. The different ways that you can give are on the screen. Also, if you need prayer, we would love to pray with you. Just email, message, or call the church. Thank you so much for watching today and have a blessed week.